we're uh, early morning, light's just coming up. Uh, we're down in Argyle. I'm actually um, just testing the new Zeiss. Um, it's the LRS5, so it's basically a long range precision scope, which clearly is not the beast of a scope that would normally have on my stalking rifles, because wooden stalking, we're talking shorter ranges, ranges. but this is a um, bit of an indulgence. I really wanted to test a, a scope like this in the woodland environment. We're working in low light conditions, so quality, quality optics, big objective lens, um, should give us the advantage of being able to see deer early. And we've got restock sites down on our left and our right. Often seeker deer will be on the edge of the periphery of these, so I'm trying to get a seeker actually, so just about getting enough light to see to shoot hopefully now as we move off down here. So it's just been interesting to see how a, uh, a scope of this um, magnitude performs in, in these sort of fairly close confines. I'm hoping this weather improves a bit, it's horrible, it's that damp kind of rain, but anyway we'll see. see the first hind we were looking at. Down below it's a calf. Come on, get on that calf. Get here. this morning it's uh, we managed to beat the rain we stalked up on a group of hinds on the banking in front of us um, we've kind of made to come up using this bracken as cover that's probably half a dozen eight red deer on there but they're all working here all the time up the banking uh, I particularly want to one of the calves um, I always shoot a calf before the hind anyway. And this one started to, to come across, so uh, fortunately gave me the broadside. So it's a 200 yard shot from here, but nice when you've got a scope of this magnitude. Um, admittedly, it wasn't quite a long range that this thing's capable of doing, but 200 yards in low light conditions, poor conditions, it's streak. Um, you need good clarity. And I could see the um, deer through the scope as well as I could see the deer through the binoculars. So. You'd see, I'm using Seiko um, non toxic ammunition 120 grain. It's the first time I've kind of used it. It did, the deer reacted to shot, and it seemed to take it a little bit of a while to, to drop, but I mean, that can happen with lead as well. So, we'll go and have a look and see what the shot placement was like. But deer's, deer's clearly dropped, you could see it drop low dead just, just pretty much about five feet from where it was shot. So, we've given it five or ten minutes, let everything quieten down. The deer have, have moved off and then we'll go forward and, and pick it up. And one good thing about this is just behind that, there's a box and a track. So I've actually got uh, a drag of about 100 metres. The older I get, the more I start thinking about things like that. Okay, so perfect animal to take it's for the Christmas table. Nice calf, good condition. Placement, um, lucky really, it's gone exactly where I aimed, which was straight through the heart exit. Low shoulder, far side, really, really good condition. Um, 
70, 80 metre drag to the road so we can get the car in here. So we'll, this is an area we've been asked to concentrate on. We've got young trees in here, you can see them now, young Sitka. Coming along quite well, but obviously it's drawing, drawing the deer in from the trees. We get quite a lot of Sitka in here. On the reds early morning, you've got to get them early morning. They'll go down into the fields, then they'll browse on the way back through here, and then they'll go and lie up during the day in there. And Sika are even worse. You, you, you often only get the five or ten minutes of, of daylight to shoot them with. That's where the good quality optics comes into their own. If you can't see the deer, you can't shoot them. So the Zeiss, the, the lens on the Zeiss is superb. 56mm object lens on that precision rifle scope is, I mean, it's bloody food and drink to a scope like that. 200 yard shot from the banking. Uh, relatively easy stalk this morning. As oft is often the case, the deer were kind of working, constantly working away, coming up this little clear area here to make the way into the trees as a regular track goes through and the line to the, the line of Sitka Spooks during the day. So, fairly easy drive to bring the car up here to pick her up. So, nice morning. Success. Dog gets kidneys. <laughs> <laughs>